For this project, we need crayons, markers, a water cup and a paintbrush, a marker palette, a pencil, a sharpie, and your how to draw a cake handout. To start, we're going to draw the cake. First, we're going to start by making an ellipse. An ellipse is kind of like a squished oval. Our cake needs to appear to be round, so you have to make sure that these lines are curved. Add two straight lines down the side for your cake. Then we're going to create a V in the middle of the top and then two lines down. Then create a V in the bottom with a line connecting the middle. Next we're going to add our frosting layers to make it look like our cake is a triple layer cake. Create some drippy frosting going down the side of your cake. Erase any of your extra lines. Next we're going to draw some candles. These also need to be a cylinder shape. We want them to look as 3D as we can. Be sure to have an ellipse at the top and a curved line that follows that ellipse at the bottom. You can add as many or as little candles as you would like. I decided to add three. You could add stripes or polka dots to decorate your candles if you'd like. The final step is to create a plate. When you're happy with your drawing, go ahead and trace it with a sharpie. Add a horizon line so it looks like your cake is sitting on the table and sign your name. Choose the colors you would like to decorate your cake with. Only trace the outer lines. We will come in with a wet paintbrush and smear the marker into the center. Now we're ready to paint. Use a wet paintbrush and your marker palette to fill in the white space. Be sure not to paint two wet things directly next to each other. This will cause the colors to bleed together. Once the whole cake is painted, we're going to color the background with crayon. I wanted to make it look like my candles were glowing, so I made a yellow and orange halo around them. Choose whatever colors you would like for the background. Make sure not to leave any white spaces. <music> 